You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. I was there for a few hours trying to get her to get me a response. But you both told me what the princess said. Father, she has refused to tell me where her father is. What exactly did she say? She said she does not know where he is. Do you believe her? No, Father. Same here. I don't believe her. So what do we do now? You will apply force on her. She will collapse and die. It. And then tell you where her father is. That's exactly what I was thinking, Father. Apply some force. But I needed your permission first. Mm -hmm. You're my son. You have my permission. Thank you, Father. Why did you kill Gitch? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you know what I am talking no, about. No, I don't. Just one Ekemake day after the prince kicked you out, with the decision to marry Ogechi, she was killed. And how is that my business? I am not joking with you. Tell me why you killed Ogechi or I will use force on you. Is that a threat? Call it whatever thing you want. Tell me why you killed Ogechi. I have said it before, and I will say it again. I don't know what you're talking about. Ulako, for the very last time, why did you kill Ogechi? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ow! <clears throat> <clears throat> Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, you clear. You sent for me? Yes. Sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Once again, I want to commend you and your men for the good job you are doing for our kingdom. I want to know the suitable gift I give to you and your men. Your Majesty, we do not want any gift from you. What we did is a service to our great kingdom. I know. But a worker deserves some rewards. Your Majesty, if you insist. Very good. Well, give me between now and tomorrow afternoon. We'll think of something suitable for all of you. And, um, whatever gift you're going to give us will be highly appreciated, Your Majesty. One more thing. I gave you an express order to bring the King of Ezema to me. Why didn't you return with him? Your Majesty, we were determined to do exactly the way you ordered. But we had an undue interruption along the line. Interruption? How do you mean? At the point we wanted to grab the King of Ezema, Nabife, the son of Eloka, interfered. And that paved the way for the king to escape. That doesn't make any sense to me. Why would they look out interfere in my affairs? I don't know. I don't know. Where is he now? It's like he escaped. Find him and bring him to me. Yes, Your Majesty. Once again, good job. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. What did you say happened to you? I, I, I fell from a tree, Papa. You can lie to anybody, but not to me. 
What I can see on your skin are cuts. From who? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out from you. So, from who? Papa. How else do you want me to explain to you? But don't worry about me, Papa. I'll be fine. Papa, let me get some herbs. I'm coming. Wait. wait. Do you know the, the exact herbs that's, that's needed for the treatment? Yes. I, I don't believe you, Neka. Um, her grandmother was the great herbalist of her time. I have no doubt she passed the knowledge to her. Yes, Papa. She taught me how to use simple herbs. Papa, I'll be back shortly. I'll go, my daughter. <clears throat> you see, I don't want to press hard on these injuries. So, how did you sustain them? There's nothing to talk about my injury, Papa. As you can see, I'm fine. No! You are not fine! you here. Now that I have your attention, can we continue with the discussion? Oh, Gondu, please. Can you just untie me? Please untie me. Please. Well, not until you tell me why you killed Ogich. Listen, I have nothing to tell you. The least you can do is just to torture me. Untie me, please. Because you're making a mistake. Mm, let me think about that. Now, torturing you is the, the least of my worries. Tell me why you killed Ogich. What are you planning? Well, I will quietly leave you here in the messes of the wild animals around here. And I assure you, they will devour you one night. Kondu, no! No, no, wait, wait, wait! You can't! You, 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 no, 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 please, don't, 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 don't go. Should I take that to mean that you are ready to talk? <sighs> yes. Yes, I will. Please, interest me this time. What happened? Did you say anything? No. Nabife disrespected the king by fighting you? I warned him to stay off our way, but he refused. And now, he has incurred the wrath of the king on himself. It's a pity because I know that the king will not take it lightly with him. Now I know that the dead that will kill a dog do not allow the dog to perceive the smell of his excreta. And that is exactly what is playing out now. On his second thought, the Nabife that I know has always been loyal to our land. Exactly. I expected him to join forces with us and fight our enemies, but he chose to fight against us. And he will forever live to regret this act of his. He will regret it. You, both of you, continue with the search. Follow me. Well, I've told you all that you, you need to know. Please, can you now untie me? You felt the only way to get back at her was to kill her? Well, that's the only way to get her out of my way completely. How did you kill her? I stabbed her. That day, I knew you were waiting for her at the bush. And the prince sent Uchi and Induka for the same purpose. But I moved faster.
What is the meaning of this? Get out of my way. Get out! That's when you promised me you will never be seen around my prince. And that is never going to happen and you know it. It means you are looking for my trouble and you are going to have a full basket of it. <laughs> and did anyone tell you that I am afraid of your trouble? Look at you. I am going to kill you if need be. Stay out of my affairs. <laughs> Olaku. You will do nothing. You will do nothing. And let me warn you. Let today be the last day you will stand my way because of this issue. For the last time I warn you. Stay out of my way. Accused the prince wrongly for killing Ogechi. I know. And I know you've gone to the palace to confront him twice. Who gives you information? Nobody. I have meant. I have means of knowing what everybody is doing in their different places. I'm interested. Tell me about it. I will. But it will cost you. Name your price. Oh well, you have to convince the prince to come back to me. You know that is not possible. Everything is possible. Just do the right thing at the right time. You that's don't it. understand. The prince is now my worst enemy. Prince, he will not listen he, to me. The prince is not your worst enemy. He is not. You need to accept all that I'm going to give to you. And that's it. I'll try. What? All right. Very well. When that is done, you know where to find me. My daughter, what is it? We have to go now. We have to go now. We have to go. Go where? This is no time for questions. What is going on? Papa, the youths are on their way to grab Nabife by the order of the king. Nabife? Follow her first. Please, please, please. Stand up. Yes. I'm not going anywhere with you. Leave me. Nabife, they are closed. We have to go now. Nabife, leave first. Leave after you ask questions. Go. Sorry. Go, 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 go. go. Sorry. Ah. No, take care of you. Okay, Papa. Uh, what else of our land? I hope there's no problem. That does not answer my question. Where is your son? My son is not around. 
don't believe you. Do I have any reason to lie to you? I have none. Search everywhere. What is happening here? What is all this about, if I may ask? There is no sign of him anywhere. And so what? He's not at the back of the hut. So can I now know what this is all about? Tell your son that the king needs to see him in the palace. It's very urgent. Let's go. What did he do? Hey! this place. Honestly, I am very tired. A little more patience. But my pot of patience is already broken. I have had it up to here. What if we go out there and they capture us? Then we are going to become their slaves forever. Ah. And the shame is going to be on the gods of Eziama who allowed this to happen in the first place. The gods are doing their own. We can equally do ours by staying here for now, please. It is a shame. It is a very big shame that Ezema of Eziama has run away from his palace. He's hiding here in the bush because he's running away from a fellow king. That's a shame. The king who loves the last laugh is the one who loved the best. That fool of Umoganigwe will not love the last love in this. Thank you for saying the nicest of things. Thank you. Thank you, my husband. I am... I am not going to speak ill of the gods. Sorry. Sorry. We are safe here. I'll be back. Ah. Sorry, they did not follow us. Uh, well, how did you know the youth was coming after me? I heard them talking about it on their way to your father's hut. It's uh, okay. Thank you for everything that you're doing for me. It is okay. I love you and I will forever love you. No doubt you have proven your love to me once again. And I will always do that. So tell me, what happened? They, they killed... They killed Ujumwa. What? How? I'm sure you already know that our community and the people of Iziama are at war. The day the war started was the day they killed her. 
Because she's a medicine. I had medicine as pet during war. You see? That is why our Umar Ganigwe youth must pay. Because they have broken all the rules of war. Killing women and children. As if that was not enough, they invaded the palace of the people of Izyama and was at the verge of killing their king. If not that, if not that I intervened. That was a noble thing you did. It's okay, sorry. Thank you. My father would have thought otherwise. That was why I did tell him. Apologies, my prince. What do you want? I am here to apologize for accusing you wrongly over the death of Ogechi. Okay. Yes. I was so curious to know who killed the only woman I ever loved. And I was the only person that came to your mind first? You wouldn't blame me, my prince. Because the way this whole thing started, and how she died, all facts were pointing towards you. So I was convinced in my heart that you killed her. I can swear an oath. I did not kill her. I know you did not kill her, my prince. You know. Yes. That's why I'm apologizing. But the next time you decide to point accusing fingers, Better get your facts right. Okay, my prince. Um, my prince, there is something I would want to discuss with you. Very important. Before that, I want to know who killed Ogechi. My prince, Ogechi made so many enemies when she was alive. And I strongly believe that one of those enemies killed her. Who are those enemies? You don't need to worry about that, my prince. She now belongs in the past. Let's just leave it that way. Where is he? We did not see him at home. I believe he's on the run. Exactly, Your Majesty. I want you to fish him out and bring him to me. He will not disappoint you. Did you meet his father at home? Yes. What did his father say? He said nothing. Did you ask him about the whereabouts of his son? We asked him. But he said he does not know his whereabouts. But body language shows he knows something about his son. I mean, his son's whereabouts. More reason you should find him and bring him to me. No problem, Your Majesty. It's about your wife, Olako. What about my wife? She loves you. I do not love her any more. Why? She cannot bear me children! Hold on, my prince. That means you did not show her out because she wanted to marry Ogechi. Yes, I have been nursing that idea of throwing her out of the palace for a long time now. And I finally did it. 
so you are convinced in your heart that it's her fault that she has not conceived. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Listen to me, my prince. She is the woman for you. End of discussion! Come to the palace this evening. Let's drink some warm wine. To start the beginning of our friendship. I will try. Don't try. Be there. I want you there. Okay, my prince. Brothers, we cannot continue with this. We cannot continue without the king. We must go and search for our king and bring him back. You have a point there. But the problem is, where do we go and look for him? Uma is right. We do not even know if he is still alive. Our king is much alive. Okolondo, how sure are you that our king is not dead? Because if the king is dead, the signs would be everywhere. Okolondo, what signs are you talking about? It is something spiritual. Even if I explain it to you, you will not understand. Okay. Assuming our king is still alive, where do we go and look for him? The question should be, are we ready to go and look for him? Why not? He is our king and we care about him. That means we all have agreed to look for him. Yes. I will ask again, where do we look for him? My father told me of a place where great men go to hide during invasions. We will go there and look for him. If he's not there, then we would go and comb the bushes. We will not come out until we we'll find our king and bring him back. That is settled then. Let's go and look for him. Brothers, you will go back to your heart. Get the cutlass ready. We will meet here by sunrise tomorrow. Very well done. Greetings, my prince. What do you want? You have a visitor. Who? Your wife, my prince. Tell her I do not want to see her. My prince, she has been waiting for you since morning. I beg of you, please listen to her. Bring her in. Thank you, my prince. That is why you have the bravery to talk back at me. The worst you can do is end my life. End it already and stop acting like a man who is not even a man. I am not ready to kill you yet. I will let you feel pain and agony. You will cry for death and it shall be far from you. The more you talk, I see a weakling talking. You are the weakling daughter of your weakling father. I took your father out of his place. I will catch him and cage him and let him face the full rigor of Ilulu, the electric fish. I will annex your kingdom and let your people bow to me. Turn your kingdom into a village. I know what you're planning. To rape me again like you did and inject your poison into me. Do not try it again. Do not. For if you try it again, especially now that I have voiced out, it will be your end. Poison. The worst mistake you ever made was arresting me. 
and raping me. For you made me cry. You shall never experience the cry of any child around you. My prince, there is something about her we are still trying to unmask. Take her to the cage. He raped me last night. He raped away his existence and his future.